morning folks so this morning I'm going to be making a coconut chicken curry and 90% uh, of the recipes that I find I either find on YouTube tasty or some other app uh, this one is actually two recipes that I'm trying to combine which is Chinese curry and coconut curry so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the fat off the chicken here I'm gonna add it into the pot along with a little bit of green onions a little bit of curry powder um, two cloves of garlic and then I'm gonna put a lid on it oh and I'm sorry and some mushrooms I'm gonna put a lid on it toss it in the fridge let it marinate for a little bit then I'm gonna pull that out and then I'm gonna start picking like the vegetables the potatoes and stuff like that but right now we're just doing the chicken and there's a lot of fat so get rid of that crap Well, I'm gonna have to cut this up into little cubes anyhow, so. Gracious. sharpen that <clears throat> good god there's so much fat I don't even know how to get it all off I'm not gonna get it all off so Anyways, you get the gist.
I'll add a little bit of this to the chicken. About half of it. And then I'm going to save half of it. And two cloves of garlic. Some bad boys in there, screw it. Smash the shit out of them, so shouldn't need to too much more to one. Curry paste. I tried to find the spicy one, but this isn't the kind of curry that I would use. Um, when I worked in a sushi restaurant, we had blocks of curry from uh, mild to medium hot to super hot. It's not really what I was wanting, but it'll do the job. Just add. Show you guys. What I'm doing here. Add a little bit of the curry paste. Not too much. That's enough. Smells really good. Now I'm gonna toss that in the fridge for about an hour. I'm gonna cut up some potatoes and then I'm gonna cook those. Well, I'm just gonna cut up some potatoes into like little rings. So that they cook super fast. Getting a little close to my fingers. And you get the gist. I got one more potato to do, so I'm not going to show you how to do that. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to start cooking the vegetables because potatoes have the most water, and then the onions have the second amount, and then the mushrooms, and so on and so forth. Because the chicken isn't going to take but two to three minutes to cook up if this is on medium high. So I'm going to start the vegetables. First I'm going to do the potatoes, then I'm going to add some onion and some shrooms, or actually I'm going to add onion and garlic, then some shrooms, and then I'm going to wait for it all to get done. I'm going to add the chicken uh, mixture to this, and then wait for that to get done, and then I'm going to add coconut milk and heat it up with a little bit of um, chicken broth and wait for it to turn into a gravy and then bam he's done and I've got rice cooking over there in the pan so I'm gonna let this heat up and then I'm gonna start cooking so I just thought of something to show you guys a neat little trick to know when your oil is ready like hot enough to cook if you take like a wooden spoon or a bamboo spoon 
of some sort and you take the bottom end of it put it in the oil and around the bottom of the stick starts bubbling the oil is ready <clears throat> another one is like when your oil starts turning wavy which it's it's actually doing that right now See the way that I sliced it. So <clears throat> I'm gonna let this start cooking, and um, that's pretty much all I can fit in there. Then I'm gonna do onions, mushrooms, and the rest. All right, <clears throat> the taters are starting to get brown now and um, I don't know if I posted the dehydrated video but I got a little bit of dehydrated time here so I'm gonna add a little bit of that to it and now I'm gonna go ahead and add the onion garlic. I just ripped it apart. <clears throat> now a little bit of green onion. Just that's enough. Alright, now I'm going to let those cook for a little longer and then add some shrews. Let's go ahead and add some shrews now. Crank up the heat a little bit. of everything. Sorry, I forgot to record me putting the chicken in, but it's in there now. And I'm going to cook this. I'm actually going to crank the heat up and just fry everything on all sides. And then add the coconut milk. And then thicken it up. And it's done. Uh, I've already cooked the rice. The rice is done. So we're ready to go. Alright, as you can see, chicken's starting to get white. Some of it's still pink, but that's okay. So I'm gonna add the chicken stock now, and the coconut milk, and turn it into gravy. I added a way, 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 way too much, guys. So don't do this when you do it.
Now turn it down and just let it simmer for a while and turn into gravy. Alright guys, so I have simmered this for about 20 minutes with light coconut oil because Safeway didn't have regular coconut oil. I looked everywhere in the milk section and the Thai food section or Asian food section. So I went back and got a little bit of heavy cream, added that to it, and that definitely thickened it up. So I'm gonna let it simmer for about another five minutes and then I'm gonna turn it off and then I'll make a plate and show you guys what it looks like. Well that's how it turned out. Um, also, you can see yellow here. I added a little bit of uh, fried eggs to my rice just to give it a little bit of more protein. So, yeah. And it's really, 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 really hot. Well, it's not really, 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 really hot. It's just, it's hot. So, and it's good. So, try it out yourself.